a fairly close relationship, intimate relationship between government and police, isn't it, John? Well, exactly as you said, Fred, we don't know why, but we can only look at what appears on the surface. You referred to the Black Lives Matter protest. The uh, police and the IPA has written about this. The police seem to be supporting some political causes and not others. The police seem to be playing politics. Uh, As you said, uh, some people have called the Victoria Police a once respected and trusted institution, uh, the private army of Dan Andrews and worse, not my words, the words of others. Uh, And this is by no means a healthy state of affairs. Now, in a liberal democracy, you would think a police prosecution and its timing has nothing to do with a state election. It should have nothing to do with politics. But in the absence of any explanation of what has happened and why Victorians are liable to draw their own conclusions. Are you hearing of other charges being dropped or is it just the high profile ones that are likely to affect the outcome of the election? Well, we don't know, Fred. There's been certainly some high profile charges that have been dropped. And again, when a case is dropped, uh, there's no testing of the legality. The IPA and many others are trying to find out how many Victorians have been charged, what is the progress of their cases. There has been a complete lack of information about this. There's been a complete lack of media scrutiny or public curiosity about this. And as a number of people have said, uh, Zoe fought her charges. Uh, Others have fought their charges. What about the people who paid up? What about the people who've paid the fines, uh, who have succumbed to the prosecutions, but may well have had a case that was arguable in the magistrate's court here in Victoria? So what's the mood in the electorate, John? Are are Victorians relieved that all these lockdowns are over and just want to put it in the past, or are they uh, sitting on their porches with baseball bats, as the saying goes? Well, I wish it was the latter, Fred, and as you and I have spoken about over these last two years, and as you know very well because you've been very brave speaking up for Australia's freedoms and you've been very brave speaking up against the tyrannical overreach of federal and state governments, um, Sadly, it seems the Andrews government will be re-elected. That's what the polls are saying. That's what the surveys are indicating. Um, It's been a very interesting phenomenon here in Victoria whereby so many Victorians want to put what has happened behind them. One of the things that shocked me was that when Zoe was arrested, and handcuffed, as you said, in her living room in front of her children when she said she would take down the Facebook post. There was absolutely no reason for her to be treated like this. Um, sadly, the overwhelming reaction to Victoria of Victorians was she deserved it. She got what was coming to her. Victorians have been humiliated. They have been threatened. They have been intimidated um, by a government ruling by fear. Um, and no one spoke up. For, for Zoe, the, as you said kindly, Fred, the Institute of Public Affairs was able to support her. Our friends at Liberty Works set up a funding page to pay for her legal fees. Um, the Victorian opposition didn't speak up. Scott Morrison uh, was silent. Uh, the media was silent. Too many people have been complicit and have collaborated with Uh, what I would argue is the most significant public policy failure in peacetime since 1901 in Australia's history.